Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the movie Avengers Kang Dynasty and how Endgame had an impact on Kang as per the writer. First of all, Thanos was teased in Phase 1 and Phase 2 and then he got killed in Avengers Endgame. Not once but twice thanks to time travel. As the writer already has broadened his visions a lot for the big bad of the sequels of Avengers when he worked on Thanos who was an alien and had super strength and thanks to the infinity stones he could bend reality and time itself. This forced the writer Jeff Loveness to work more on Kang's character. Now because of that he worked on his abilities which included time jumps and he added altering reality to his abilities. Kang has already had a lot of versions in the MCU comics and every version is more dangerous and powerful than the previous one. This time the Avengers 5 will have a human villain as Kang is human after all and with the help of his futuristic weapons and technology he has been able to enhance his durability, speed, energy and it is also said that if he dies then another version of him will replace him. In addition he uses holograms and force fields which is far far from the future and is way out of reach and understanding of our heroes. With his time chair he can see all the possibilities of the future which is a great advantage. So these are all the additions in Kang's character which were tempted to be made by Loveness thanks to Endgame's time travel. So guys stay tuned for further updates and if you enjoyed please like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.